Yeah, I've been waiting for this. Hey everyone, it's Press Any Button and we are back with our Run and Gun series. Today we're going to be implementing something new. I know that's crazy seeing that all we've been doing recently is just bringing back old stuff. But we're actually going to be doing something a little exciting. It shouldn't take too long unless I blabber for ages, but I ain't going to let myself because I don't want to edit a video that goes over 10 minutes. What are we doing today? Well, we're actually mixing animations as the title suggests, and I'll show you what that actually means. So we have our running animation, we have our jumping animation, we have our idle animation, there you go. And we haven't implemented our shooting animation yet. We've done the run, but we haven't done the gun yet. What is up with that? Well, here is our gun. So we've got a shooting animation, that's great. We're not going to really bother with the shooting aspect because we've covered that in previous parts. We've got the scripts and I'll show you how to just set it up from what we've previously done with the other project. But yeah, this is a pretty good shooting animation. But what happens if I start to move? Oh, wow. That was kind of smooth, wasn't it? Let's try that again. So we're shooting idle and then I move. I was pretty smooth. How have we done that? Well, we've mixed some animations. In certain parts of what you've just seen there, those animations are mixed. And we're gonna go over that. We're gonna go over how you can implement those things and get a deeper understanding of those things. I don't know where these things can be applied further, but all I know is as we get deeper into Unity, it's only gonna be good, you know? A greater understanding of this fantastic tool is only gonna be good for us. So how do we start off? Well, you're going to want some new animations. And don't worry, I know we've been working with a lot of animations recently and we're not gonna be doing anything too heavy in this part in terms of animations. In fact, I'm not even gonna really show you um, me creating new animations because you won't need to create new animations. I'm gonna go to one of the animations that was being used in that shooting animation and you'll see, it's pretty jank, but you'll see something interesting. I have completely locked out the movement of the legs and everything else is stagnant. Everything else is still. And then I've got another animation for shooting forward. You noticed anything about those two animations? Hopefully, it will be the fact that those two animations are what makes up that third animation that we saw when I was demoing that running forward and shooting animation and that's exactly what we'll be doing. So to create these specific animations all you'll need to, I'm going to stop saying animation, to create these two specific things all you need to do is just rip parts out of some of the old stuff that you've done. So for the just legs one I've gone to the running main clip and I've literally just taken the information for the limbs. So none of this spine bot or anything, but I've just taken the information for the limbs. I've copied it. I've gone to just legs. So I've hit control C and then I just click in here, hit control V and you'll get your animation just as you need it. And that's the same for shooting forward. Now this one's a little different because you will have to make that new animation but you guys already know how to do that i suggest when you're making the one to mix with running you have your character tilt forward a little bit as if they are running just so it looks a lot more natural because otherwise i'm gonna show you what kind of jank you'll encounter in a second so we're sorted for the animations now the only other thing that you'd want is one more clip of your character shooting as they're straight up and this will just help you when your character isn't moving. Okay, now how do we implement these things? Well, there's one big thing that we have to go over and that is layers. Now layers can be found next to the parameters tab under the animator for your character. And you would have seen that you had the base layer. And if you're using the same project as I am right now, then you'll see that this shoot layer is here. If we navigate across those layers, nothing changes. But I will assure you that these layers are different. Uh, so on this layer, our base layer, 
we have the main movement that's occurring and on the shoot layer we have the main movement that's occurring with a couple of changes one of those changes is just legs is not just legs in the motion over here the motion is actually set to shoot forward but if we go over to our base layer just legs is just legs so what's up with that well when we create a new layer the idea behind the layer is that we want to mix our animation so we want to have two animations occurring at one time now we retain the structure of how all the animations connect because these things are meant to be occurring at the same time so they use the exact same skeleton as it were but there are a couple of differences that we can then manipulate which will help us to mix everything together but before i get too technical with it let's just get it implemented and then you guys can sort of figure out the wording and everything like that for yourselves. So when you create a new layer, you're gonna to wanna to set the weight to one. We're gonna set the blending to override and then we're gonna sync it. Now we've got that same exact uh, structure as we used before and we'll be able to manipulate uh, parts of that animation tree using this new layer and that's why we have it. I'm going to delete this one because I've already got the shoot layer. But you can see here, we've got shoot forward under just legs. Now if I show you idle forward, select that and I play, then you'll get a good understanding of what's actually happening here. So we've got just legs and that was just the legs, right? And then if I shoot forward now, look, it's just legs and idle forward mixed together. That's literally it. That's all the explanation that you guys probably need. I think that was a pretty good demonstration of that. So, how are we gonna implement all of this and how are we gonna try to keep this video under 10 minutes? Well, we are gonna implement it. It's probably not gonna be under 10 minutes, but I'm gonna do my best. Well, we've got the structure for our tree set up, so we're pretty much good in that respect. Let's hop over to the script so we're on the same page in terms of that. So you're gonna to wanna to pull in your bullet script and your player shot script if you don't already have it in this project. You just do that by opening up the file location and literally copying and pasting those scripts from the old project into the folders for the new projects. Once you've done that, you go over to your character. You're gonna add player shots. Under add component, you'll add player shots. For the shot, I've just made a new one here. Just to look at some of the settings, it is a Circle Collider 2D uh, bullet script attached to it. So that's the script that we would have implemented by adding component and then just B and you'll find the bullet script. And we've got a Rigid Body 2D that's set to kinematic. With our Collider 2D also, make sure it's set to is trigger so it doesn't collide with things in a physical sense because we want it to be more of a trigger for damage and everything like that. Once you have that prefab sorted, you put that in your shot. And then I put an empty game object in both shotgun and flamethrower just so Unity wouldn't bully me about it. And for shot spawn, I use that same empty game object, which you can see is pretty much at the center of my character here. Fire rate and all that stuff is something that you can work with yourselves. Now let's get to the real nitty gritty with the animation structure over here. So we've got our idle main and you'll have your idle main and your running main. You'll have your blend tree for your jumps, but you won't have these two animations. So wherever you find idle forward on the base layer, you're going to want to just drag that to about here. And then you'll want to create a new parameter. And that parameter is gonna be a Boolean and it's gonna be called shoot forward in this exact same way. And we're gonna be adding it to our script in a second. So once you have your idle forward position there, should be good. And, um, and we'll be adding it to our script right now actually. So if we go over to the player shot script and then we open it, this should all look really familiar to you guys. So in our player shot script, we've got all the goods, but we're gonna add a couple of extra bits to it. So we've got this ball shooting and we're gonna say that equals false. I'm gonna reference the animator, animator anim, 
in void start we're going to get that component animator so anim equals get component animator and then anim.setball shoot forward the exact same way that you spelled it as a parameter down here and then we're going to go down to void update and this is where we have all of our key inputs and under the one for d we're going to add it this little line within the shooting script it's going to say anim.setball shoot forward is true so that parameter is going to be true when we press this key down but if we stop pressing the d key we want this parameter to be false so then we say if the key is up if input.get key up key code d then anim.setball shoot forward equals false again and we switch back to not shooting once you've done that just save your script and then go back into unity and your parameter should be uh, pretty much good to go ready to use I'm not sure, I've never done it in the order of making the parameter then editing the script, so I'm not sure if there'd be an error, but if there were any errors, just clear them now and make sure that it's spelt the same, both in Unity and in your script. Now we're going to link idle main with idle forward. So this is just going to be our shooting forward script. This isn't anything too special because this is we, we haven't really blended this animation, to be honest. To create that transition, you just right click, make transition, make the arrow, we well, you know how this works. And then your condition is going to be shoot forward, has exit time is off, and then shoot forward is true. And then shoot forward is false to go back into the idle motion. And then with the running main, you're going to connect it using the same shoot forward condition. So if shoot forward is true, you're gonna go into just legs. So this is just the legs animation. And then if shoot forward equals false, you're going to go back into your running main animation. And now let's work with those layers a little bit. So on your just legs animation, you wanna change the motion from just legs to shooting forward. And those transitions, don't worry about those, they'll stay the same across both layers. To connect all of those things together, we're going to finally make some transitions between whether we're running and shooting or if we're idle and shooting and it's literally the exact same way that we've done running main and idle main we're just going to say if our speed is less than 0.2 then we're going to go into the idle animation and if our speed is greater than 0.2 then we're going to go into just legs obviously using the speed parameter there and I don't know what to say guys because I just took a long pause to figure out what else there was but I believe we are completely done with mixing our animations so that has been another press any button tutorial is a bit longer this time but I hope it was worth the wait we've just mixed some animations here and we'll be doing a little bit more in terms of just making our animations good for sort of the conditions that we're shooting in. Because if I run this way and I shoot that way, that, that's not right. Our character should be moving backwards or strafing, things like that. And we'll try to implement that in subsequent parts. But anyway, that has been me signing out. Press on, keep creating.